Hello, everyone, and happy CES 2024. I'm excited to kick off a fireside chat featuring some amazing speakers from both Luminar and our partner, Mercedes-Benz. We'll be talking about the path to production and the brilliant minds that make safety and performance-focused cars a reality. Please welcome to the stage Mark Lossowitz, Luminar Vice President of Sales and Business Development and Chief of Staff to the CEO, and Mercedes-Benz George Massing, Vice President of Mercedes-Benz Operating System, Automated Driving, and E&E &E Integration. Hi, thanks, George. Oh, thank you. Well, good morning, George, and uh, thanks for joining us here at Luminar's booth for the 2024 CES event. Thanks. Definitely excited to have you. Um, and over here, I mean, I'm, I'm really excited to see, you know, the expanded partnership we have here with the F1 AMG team here and, and the demonstration of the world's safest safety car. Thank you, Mark. So happy to be here. Yeah. So and happy to be talking with you guys. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. So we wanted to spend some time this morning talking a little bit about, you know, why Mercedes selected Luminar LiDAR to kind of power their next generation uh, of vehicles going forward in the future. Yeah. So that's what we're going to discuss this morning. Good. So yesterday at the Mercedes Benz event, we saw the CLA concept that had LiDAR integrated in the roof. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about, you know, what features and functions that's going to unlock, LiDAR will unlock in the future. Yeah. I mean, the first thing on Mercedes side is, uh, you know, it's all about safety. Yeah. So, and uh, uh, you guys know what we have already uh, produced. Uh, we saw, we announced yesterday, so uh, some of our level three uh, features, uh, which is all about redundancy, yeah. so in the sensing, and, uh, and LiDAR is uh, one of the main components that brings this redundancy when we talk about sensing in, the, uh, in our future cars. Right. So, and uh, we are aiming with uh, the concept CLA car and the cars coming uh, beyond uh, to enhance our level three functionalities. Right. So, and we wanted something performant, so, and that's why we, we have chosen Lumina so, as a partner. Definitely makes perfect total sense, I hope, to everyone out there. Um, so in addition, you know, Mercedes-Benz is going to be the first, you know, customer OEM to adopt the Iris Plus uh, LiDAR into the vehicles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, what went into that decision in choosing Luminar as the exclusive LiDAR provider? They, they, they were actually three main components. So uh, the first thing was uh, the packaging. Yeah. Uh, to, to bring that sensors in the car at the position where we wanted to have it. So uh, we knew that it was something challenging and, uh, and this is something that we were able to find with the concept that you guys provided with the yeah. Iris 2. Uh, this was one. Uh, the second and main decision, uh, the functionality that we want to give with this addition, with, with this LiDAR. So, I mean, uh, uh, driving uh, on the on the highway above uh, one uh, 100 kilometer per hour, yes. so and some addition, some more functionalities. Uh, we thought this enabled us as well to to do exactly what we wanted to do, uh, and of course the third point uh, is uh, what the business side of yeah. it. So so uh, those are three main components that were very critical for us uh, to get the, the to to come to the decision of uh, bringing Lumina here in the game. Yeah. And, um, you know, Mercedes is known for its technology leadership, um, high benchmarks for safety. Uh, why is it important to maintain those high standards? And uh, in regards to, you know, quality, what does, you know, Luminar offer to Mercedes to meet those high standards? You, there, is, there is no price for safety. Yeah. This is one thing. Uh, uh, Mercedes is no, known there to always try to set the bar very high when it comes to safety yeah so and uh, we want the things that we are bringing in our vehicles so and uh, and the partners that are working with us to be at least to have that same mindset yeah. so uh and to strive always for the best uh, uh we know that the, sometimes it's, those are dif difficult the, uh, difficult things to do yeah. so but uh with this concrete mindset about making all what needs to be done when it comes to safety. So uh, 
was something very critical in this case for us as Mercedes. And this is something that we found so in uh, Lumina here as a partner. Uh, uh, the next thing that was that is way, way more important is we have to strive for continuous progress, continuous innovation, continuous changes. Yeah. So, so, and the uh, Luminar and the uh, young motivated engineering team, so are uh, always looking for the best, are uh, always looking for that small uh, enhancement. So yes. into what need to be done in order to bring the product at at his best. And transitioning from you know the point of a startup company and really scaling to the to the factor that you know is going to be required to, to serve Mercedes. Yeah. And 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 there this is now the the, the third one. Uh, we saw also that the management at Lumina really take seriously some of our advice and partners with good people who understand what it needs to be done yeah. to move from a prototype or small scale built products to large scale build product and automa automate uh, this whole thing. So those three factors are very important, were very important for us and uh, we're at least able to see that uh, you guys are taking it seriously. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that kind of, you know, dovetails into what we want to talk about next, which is, you know, it, it's really hard to find the right fit, you know, for each side, right? And I think that's something, you know, we've worked together on for several years um, over the past, you know, half a decade or so. And, um, you know, in, in selecting a partner, right, it's a lot of different factors, like you mentioned earlier, is, you know, go into that. There's a commercial piece, there's the technical piece, and then there's, the, you know, kind of the meshing of the two companies and this from a leadership perspective, but also, you know, at the working level in engineering and quality and manufacturing. So, um, you know, we've kind of done that and we've been partnering here over the past couple of years to drive and deliver this product into series production in 2025. Yeah. And, um, you know, how do you see like, you know, some additional, you know, how do we, how do we partner even further to overcome, you know, the challenges that we're going to see as we, as we get step closer even to production? It is at the end all about the chemistry between the different team. Yeah. You mentioned it is to bring such a product on the road. It's not only about engineering. So industrialization teams, yeah. they have to understand each other. They have to have the same standard quality teams. They have to understand each other. They have to have the same standards there. So uh, engineering, of course. So uh, our whole purchasing group, the chemistry. So here has to fit. Yeah. Uh, and 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 then the data that need to be provided. So by uh, your uh, product. So they have to match. So right. to to our expectation. And 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 seeing that people, you guys are working day and night to make sure that uh, we really get what we, we want to have. Yeah. So uh, this is something amazing. So, uh, and of course, when we are talking about developing such new products, it's always something challenging. Extremely so, challenging. So, and, uh, uh, but if, if the chemistry between the teams are good enough and, and, and the working together is, is fitting, so um, sky is the limit at the end of the day. Right, exactly. And I don't think you know we could have had a better partner um, with Mercedes-Benz to, to scale this new technology. So, George, I wanted to thank you um, for stopping by here and spending time with us. I, I appreciate it. So, and uh, again, I wish you a nice CES, so great talks. So make sure that uh, the product gets to the end. So. Absolutely. <laughs> I we are, we are yeah, like in, you said, in, working in, around in, the clock in, to in deliver this. In one of our Formula One car, you guys already are showing what, what you guys can do when it comes to safety. So I really appreciate it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Mark. All right. so, okay. Thanks.